Hi everybody, welcome back. This is the fourth and final session of Table Tennis Ireland's Table Tennis at Home. Okay, I'm Rachel and this is Joe. Give us a wave, Joe. Hi, okay, and we're going to be taking the final session here today. So, first things first, let's think about our equipment list. So I'm going to share my screen, show the equipment list. If you want to pause the video and gather your things. Okay, let's get the equipment list up. Okay. Can you see that okay, Joe? Yeah. Yep, ground, okay. So like always, you're gonna need a table tennis bat and a ball. You're gonna need a creative table tennis bat, ball and net. Try and think of different things that you might have used in the previous weeks. You're gonna need an access to a kitchen table or a desk um, or any table, but really the bigger the table, the better. And you're gonna need four pieces of A4 pieces of paper and a pen. And again, plenty of space, and then any water or drinks that you need for the session. So pause this video now and make sure you have all these things ready. Okay, so before I hand over to Joe, I'm going to go across and we're going to answer the question to the previous week's video. Okay, so last week I asked you a couple of questions. So we're going to go through the answers. So number one. What is the height of the table tennis net? And the answer there is 15.25 centimetres. So hopefully you got in that ballpark around that height. Question two was what are the length and width of the table tennis table? So the table is 2.74 metres in length or nine feet, and it's 1.525 metres wide or five foot wide. Okay, so it's not an equal size table. And the third question, how high is the table tennis table? you should have got an answer of 76 centimetres or 2.5 feet high. Okay, so hopefully you got some of those right. And now we're ready to start the session. So I'm gonna pass across to Joe now and he's gonna take you through our warm up. Okay, Joe, off you go. We're gonna start off with some light cardio just to get your blood pumping around your body. So bend down as low as you can and then jump up and start. Five more, two, three, four, five. Hopefully it's a bit more relaxed and warm now. We're just gonna start off with swinging your arms backwards, slowly. Trying to get as close to your ears as you can. Just for another 10 seconds or so. And now the other way. And then if you can, try and do one one way and one the other way. And switch. Now moving down, we're going to move around to the hips. If you can try and move your hips around, slow as you can. And then the other way. And then moving down your legs. So if you can balance or if not, you can, uh, you, you can put your hand on something else to balance yourself. Just for a few seconds. And then the other leg. I think that's us. Great, thanks very much, Joe. Okay, so hopefully we're all warmed up and we're ready to go. Let's start the rest of the session now. Okay, so now we're going to move on and we're going to do a bit of bat and ball skills. So what I need you to do for me now is I need you to get those four pieces of paper that were on the list and I need you to put them on the floor. So as you can see, Joe here has brilliantly put the pieces of paper on the floor. He's got one, he's standing next to one, and he's put another one about two meters away from himself. So I'm gonna do that now. So we're gonna get two pieces of paper. I'm gonna place one on one side and one on the other side. Okay, so get your bat and get your ball. I'm just gonna 
pop the ball on the back and balance it. I'm going to walk from one piece of paper to the other. Okay, Joe, do you want to show us? That's it, so nice and steady. Joe's going at a nice steady pace, not too fast. And just keeping the ball nice and controlled on the back, walking from one piece of paper to the other. Okay, so let's try for 30 seconds. Okay, let's go. Nice and steady, from one paper to the other. Try not to drop the ball if you can, keep it nice and controlled. Okay, great. So now we're going to make that a little bit harder. We're going to keep our two pieces of paper on the floor and where we can see them. And this time, instead of walking, just balancing the ball, we're going to try and bounce the ball on the back whilst walking between the pieces of paper. Okay, so don't try not to bounce the ball too high because that will make it a bit difficult. So keep it nice and steady, nice and low, just control bounces. And you're going to walk from one piece of paper to the other. So Joe, go ahead, demonstrate for us. So he's going at a nice pace, not too fast. If you have a look there, you see Joe's not bouncing the ball really high. He's just keeping it nice and close to his back. Nice and controlled. No need to go, there's no need to sprint. We're just doing nice, gentle walks. Okay, let's try that everybody, 30 seconds. Nice, steady pace going. Try not to drop the ball. If I'm hard, go a bit slower when you're walking. And drop the ball, don't worry. Keep going, guys. Well done. Try and be as consistent as possible. Oh, you drop the ball, don't worry. Just pick it up and keep going. Great. So now we're going to progress on a little bit further. Okay, Joe. So now we're going to move on. Right. So we're going to progress a little bit further on now. I'm going to make it a little bit more difficult. So we just used two pieces of paper there. Now I need you to get the other two. So you're going to need your four pieces of paper. Okay. So gather that for me, guys. So if you haven't already, make sure you've written your numbers on your pieces of paper. So you have four pieces of paper. I need you to write one to four on those pieces of paper. Okay. If you haven't already, pause the video and just write those on for me. Okay. So as you can see there, Joe's got his square set up. Joe, if you just move the first two squares a bit forward a bit, just so we can see. Sorry. Just move the first two squares forward a little bit. We can't quite see the first two squares. The, no, the, the ones closest to the camera. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, great. So everyone can see there, Joe's got his square of pieces of paper laid out in front of him. Okay. Make sure you have the numbers facing upwards so you can see them. And then I want you to position yourself like Joe has Spark bang in the middle of the square. Okay, so you've got your square and you have your four pieces of paper in a square marked out beside you. Okay, so you need your bat and your ball again. We're gonna, first one, we're gonna balance the ball on our bat. So you're gonna stand in the middle. I'm gonna call out the numbers and you want, I want you to walk to that square and back to the middle again. Balancing the ball on your bat. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate now. I'm going to call up the numbers to Joe and he's going to show you. All right, Joe, so nice and easy. So just balancing the ball on the bat and walk into the number and then back again. All right, Joe, ready? Two. Joe, two. There we go. I'm back again. That's it, Joe. Okay, one. So you can see Joe is moving towards the number and back again. 
one. Okay, three. Good. Okay, guys, we're going to keep going with that. So everybody together now. So I'm going to do it with you. Three. And then back to the middle again. One. And back again. Four. Two. Three. Sit guys, keep going. One. Middle, good. Four. Back to the middle. Three. Great. Okay. So hopefully you found that okay. Now we're going to take it up to the next level again. So keeping the numbers in the same position. This time you're going to stand in the middle of your square. And whenever I call the numbers, Instead of walking to the square, you're going to sidestep. So that might be a little, it's a little bit more tricky whenever you're trying to keep the ball balanced on your back. So if I call, call three, you're going to sidestep to three. And you keep the ball on your back. So guys, and then back again. Back to the middle again. Four. You step back. And sidestep back to the middle again. Trying to keep the ball balanced on your back like that. Okay? So I'm going to demonstrate with Joe now. So Joe, I'm going to call the numbers up for you. So, Joe, three. Side steps to three and back. Four. Four and back. See how he's keeping, he's bending his knees. He's, and he's doing a nice side step back. Right, one. Step two. Two. Good, so try and keep nice and low, bent knees, face, uh, facing forwards. And we're going to try that now, all together. So, remember, bent, knees bent, side step, back. Okay, ready? Two. Two. Five, three. Oh, have you dropped the ball? Don't worry. Let's put it back. One. And back. Two. Three. Sit, guys. Four. Two. Back. Three. Four. Three. Okay, guys. Well done. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the next part of our session. Okay, everybody, now we're going to move on and we're going to do a little accuracy game. So I'm going to hand across to Joe now and he's going to show you how to play our accuracy game. Okay, Joe? So for this activity, you'll need a handful of balls and the bucket, as you can see there. And then for this one, we'll just be trying to throw the balls into the bucket. And we'll just give that a try. So just do it like this. You just try to throw it in. Once you've thrown all your balls, you need to go pick, pick them all up again. We'll do five more of these then. Oh, I missed. I'm going to get that one in. So, so get your balls again. And then as a bit of an extra challenge, each time you get one in, you need to take a step back. So like this. And each time you need to take another step back. I'm gonna collect your balls again.
So each time, just take a step back. If you miss, don't worry, just start again and keep practicing and you'll improve. Ooh. Okay, everybody, so have a go at that. Every time you get one in the bucket, take a step back. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the next exercise. Thanks, Joe. Okay, everybody, so we're now gonna take another step up in this challenge and we're gonna to progress to the next level. So I'm gonna pass back to Joe again and he's gonna show you what we're gonna to do to take this that extra step further. Okay, Joe? All right, so this time we're gonna be using our bat instead of just throwing the ball. You need to have a handful of balls again. And then you're gonna hit all the balls into the basket and then try and take a step back. So just to try that now. Go and collect the rest of your balls. Now I try and step back and see how many you can get in. If you miss, don't worry, just go and collect them again and try again. So now that you've tried that a few times, just to mix it up, if you want to get your creative part. So now the same thing, just start at the start again, and then try and see how many out of the balls you have you can get in, and see how that compares to with your normal bat. So if you want to start, So oh, one last time then, let's see how many we can get in. How many did you get, Joe? I only got one. Oh, see if you guys can do better than one. Great. Okay, thanks, Joe. So we're gonna move on now and move on to the next activity. Everybody, so make sure that now you have your back ready because we're going to go over the shots that we have learned over the last couple of weeks. So if you remember, we learned the backhand drive and last week we learned the forehand drive. So I'm just going to go through those techniques again so that we can practice them. Okay, so remember when we were talking about the backhand drive, we want feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, leaning forward, goalkeeper stance, remember. Okay, make sure you're on your toes, bend your, bend your knees and lean forward. Your non-playing arm should be up, ready to go, not just hanging by your side. So up, ready, and your playing arm should be at the same height. Okay, bend your knees. So remember, the back should be 
slightly angled downwards, 45 degree angle for the back hand. We're going to take the bat back to our hip. If you're right handed, it's your left hip. If you're left handed, it's your right hip. So take the bat back and then we're going forward. Okay? So watch Joe. So Joe's demonstrating at the actual table there. So back hand. Back hand. Okay? So we're in our ready position. Now back hand. Then we recover back to our ready position. Because like I said before, in a match, we don't know where the ball's going to go. So we need to play our shot, and then recover back. Play the shot, recover back. Because you can have to play forehand next. So, backhand, recover. So just practice that with me now. Yep, just get the feel of it. Perfect. Okay, so that was the backhand shot that we learned in weeks one and two. Last week, if you remember, we moved on and we looked at the forehand shot. So I'm just going to go through those technique points with you again. So you can see now Joe's moved across to the other side of the table there. So the other side was the backhand side. And now Joe's moved across to the forehand side. Okay, so you want to, again, you want to be feet shoulder width apart. You don't want to be square like you are for the backhand, okay? Remember, we want slight, not fully side on, but again, 45 degree angle. Okay. Non-playing arm, again, we don't want just dangling by our side, we want it up and ready to go. Okay, so the forehand shot, we're going to swing back, weight transfer onto our right leg, if you're right-handed, and then we're going to transfer our weight forwards. Okay, weight on the right leg, transfer onto the left leg. With the swing, we're back swing, and we're stopping right in front of our eyes. We don't want massive foot forehand swings, we don't need an extra overshot. We're short back swing, stopping in front of our face. Okay, not like tennis where we have a massive back swing and follow through, we're just short and right in front of your head. Short back swing, weight on your right leg, transfer the weight. Okay, practice that. Again, you want the back slightly angled downwards, 45 degree angle. Okay, practice with me, guys. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to put those two together. So we're going to do a bit of shadow play here. So we're going to do one backhand shot. Again, keeping all the technique points that we've just learned. Then you're going to set your half side step. Forehand shot. Yeah, just like Joe's shown you. So backhand. Forehand. Good. Keep going, guys. So we're going to do that for 30 seconds. Let's go. Backhand. Side step. Forehand. Backhand. Keep your arm up. Keep your front leg arm up. Okay. Keep going, guys. Forehand. Backhand. Just nice and steady. You don't need to go really fast. Just take it at your own pace. Forehand. Backhand. Forehand. Keep going. Backhand, forehand. So imagine you're playing the ball. Imagine the ball's in front of you. And you're hitting it onto the side of the table. Backhand, forehand. Backhand, forehand. Good. Okay. Now, if you remember correctly, we learned the backhand and forehand serves. So we're just going to recap that, and Joe's going to show you on the table. So remember. We want to not to be too close to the table on the backhand serve. We'll talk about that one first. So Joe's going to throw the ball up and strike it onto his side first and then over the net onto the other side of the table. So Joe, do you want to show them? Okay, great. So he's striking the ball on his side first, then the opponent's side of the net. Okay, and again, Joe. He's throwing, he don't throw the ball up too high, he's just throwing it up nice and nice and gently, not too high. He's striking the ball on his side and then on the other side. Okay, and again, Joe. Perfect. So you guys have a go at that as we're talking. Brilliant. Okay, so then we talked about the forehand serve. So Joe's now going to move across onto the other side of the table because the forehand side is on the other side. And now he's going to demonstrate a forehand serve to you. So again, you're not going to throw the ball up too high, nice and a couple of inches. You strike the ball, hits your side and then the opponent's side. Throwing it in, 
nice and gently present to play. Okay, Joe, go ahead. Lovely. So you're striking, you're not hitting it too hard, nice and gently. Just throwing it over a nice distance and then you put it into play. Well done. That's it. So nice and gentle throw up and then in. So you don't need a massive backspin like you do for the forehand shot. It's just nice restricted movement in the arm. Throw it up and into play. Okay, so hopefully you guys have practiced that over the last couple of weeks. And now we're going to show you a couple of exercises that the two boys are going to show you on a real table. Welcome back. So now we've got a treat for you here. We've got Tom and Joe, and they're going to show you some actual table tennis exercises on a table. So the first exercise that they're going to show you today is one backhand and one forehand. All right, take it away, boys. So you can see, look at Joe's footwork as he moves from backhand to forehand. Okay, brilliant. Okay, the next exercise that they're going to show you now is one backhand, one forehand. So similar to the last exercise, but this time Joe's going to do his forehand from the backhand side. Okay, take it away. So it's one backhand, one forehand, but he's rotating around and playing his forehand from the backhand side. Okay, look at his footwork. He's moving around and playing the forehand from the backhand side. Okay, yeah. Brilliant, okay guys? So the final exercise that the boys are gonna demonstrate for you today is two backhands and one forehand, okay? 
goes playing two backhands and he's moving across, sidestepping as we learned before and playing his forehand. He's got his knees bent and you can see whenever he plays his forehand shot, it's short, there's no follow through, it's right in front of his face. Brilliant. Okay, thanks very much, guys. Hope you enjoyed looking at those um, exercises. That is the end of the Tim Plants Island TT at Home sessions. Um, we hope you've enjoyed the sessions. I know I have. Uh, and that just remains for me to say is thank you very much. And we hope that you continue to play table tennis and keep practicing your TT skills at home. And hopefully whenever we can, we'll see you down at the clubs. Thank you very much. Bye.